Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn something truly amazing. You're going to learn how to create intricately beautiful chord solos, jazz chord solos, with minimum or absolutely no effort at all. Because I'm going to show you the spectacular magic of the one finger jazz chord. The one finger jazz chord. I'm not kidding. It sounds suspicious and it also looks suspicious when you see it, but it's a beautiful jazz chord. It's a ninth sus4 chord and you can use it to create amazing solos with absolutely no effort. See what I'm talking about? Instant running jazz solos with just one finger. Okay? And if you choose to add an extra finger, it becomes even more beautiful. And I'm going to show you all of this in a second. So this chord is a valid chord. We guitar players, when we see something too simple on the guitar, we tend to suspect it because the guitar is supposed to be finger breaking and stretchy, right? Wrong. The simpler it is, the more fun it is to play. And it doesn't have to be um, finger breaking in order to be complex. This is a very complex chord. This is a ninth chord with a sus4 in it. If you take E9, Okay, you have E9, which is 7767 seven, on strings 2 to 5. Okay, 7767, seven, seven. that's E9. If you have E minor 9, you have 7757. Seven, so you can play around with those ninth chords, minors and majors. But why not 7777? Why not sus4 as well? Okay? Just a stack of notes over the same fret. So now it's sus4. It's E7, sus4, with the ninth in there. So it's E9, sus4. Okay? It's common not to call out the seventh because it's a jazz chord, so the seventh is implied. Okay, so you have. E9 sus4. Now you can also call this E11 or E9 11, but it's not really 11 because it's not above the seventh, it's below it. So it's literally the fourth. And it's also suspended because you don't have a major or minor third. So I believe the true name of this chord to be E9 sus4. But names of chords don't really matter. You can call this chord Jennifer if you want. As long as it sounds good, names don't matter. So you can just toy around with this. Now you can also toy around with this and the ninth and minor ninth chords and create an already sophisticated line. But the real fun begins when you use that one finger jazz chord and add a note on the second string. If you add, because then you actually add the third, okay, the minor third or the major third on the second string, and you still get that 11th suspended sound, but now you also have the minor or major, so now it is an 11th chord. So if you add, let's take E, again, 7777. Seven, seven, seven. You can play eight on the second string or nine on the second string for a minor or a major variation. And immediately it opens up an entire world of possibilities, okay, depending on the scale that you're in. Now, you can, of course, alternate between all these options. And 
the, the beauty about jazz chord solos is that you don't really have to adhere to a scale. It's the, it's the sound experience that you're going for. You're going for a sound experience here. I learned this by analyzing Larry Coriel solos, jazz chord solos. And he uses these types of block chords a lot. He used to, unfortunately, he passed away. Um, so... You can also arpeggiate it. But it can get tired really fast. So what you do is you add an extra note on the fifth string right where you put the finger on the second string. So now you create a completely different chord. You create a sixth chord, a six nine chord. So if you have seven, okay, seven, 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 and you choose to put eight on the second string, put eight on the fifth as well. If you choose to put the note on nine on the second string, put it on nine on the fifth string as well. And now you have all the options. So you start from the one finger jazz chord. And you move on to any variation that you want to play with it. Okay, you put the one finger jazz chord and you just add a finger on the second string or on the second and fifth string. But you always focus on that bar, that one finger jazz chord. Endless variations. Endless. Just endless variations. So I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.